Tonight, we got an update on where efforts are at in repairing wastewater infrastructure and how the polluted water is taking a toll on people's health. This agency is barely starting to catch up. Dozens of people visited the Coronado Community Center to hear the latest on the sewage crisis. I believe it's unacceptable for the situation that's occurring right now. Maria Alana Hanere is the International Boundary and Water Commissioner. Tonight, she explained a two-part plan to repair infrastructure in the U.S. and Mexico. This includes wastewater plant expansion and fixing a damaged pipeline that transports water from the Tijuana River. That is what's primarily impacting and closing the beaches since July of 2022. The sewage prompting beach closures is also impacting people's health. It makes perfect sense. Doctors say they're seeing sick patients in the South Bay who never went into the water. We just got overrun with patients with gastrointestinal illness, vomiting and diarrhea. And we're talking to these patients. In the past, when we've seen patients that were sick, they were people that were in the water. And so we could warn them, stay out of the water, you won't get sick. But now we can't say that. Recently, the county launched a website to track gastrointestinal illnesses in the South Bay. This week, they reported not seeing a significant increase in cases. However, doctors say we might not be getting the whole picture. We have boots on the ground. We're here. We see patients with lots of illness that's not reportable. She says only gastrointestinal illnesses are reported in the tracker. It's not including skin infections, sinus issues, asthma, and other problems caused by the pollution. For now, she says the tracker is at least one step in the right direction. This will help build trust in our community, give our community a little bit of hope. Someone's out there to help us. This has been ignored for so many years. Our community really needs hope. Jasmine Ramirez, CBS 8.